In this tutorial I'm going to give you a, a bit of an introduction to, to Circuit Basics and talk about a few key ideas um, such as voltage, power, resistance and current. And so if we start with a basic um, circuit, so we've got here our, our battery. Now how a battery actually works is a whole different um, tutorial but essentially a battery is a power source that allows charge to flow through a circuit when you have a uh, connecting pathway. And um, a battery has a positive terminal and it has a negative terminal. So we'll draw those on there. Now if we then add in some wires, so coming around we'll add in a resistor R and the circuit is also going to have an ammeter and an ammeter is a device which measures the current in the circuit. Okay, and in an um, exam situation you'd really want to draw that with a ruler, um, make all your lines straight and connect all, all the uh, lines without having any gaps. Um, across our volt, our uh, resistor we have a voltmeter and the voltmeter's job is to measure the voltage or the potential difference. A voltmeter must also be wired, must always be wired in parallel and the ammeter must always be wired in series. So now that we've connected our circuit up, um, our current will flow throughout the circuit and um, we um, have two types of, um, of current flow. We have uh, what is called conventional current. So conventional current is the direction of the current flow from positive to negative. So current flows from positive to negative. Now in every circuit diagram that you ever see um, in your exams or in problems, it'll always be conventional current. So the current in the circuit flows in this direction from positive to negative. Now that's kind of confusing because in reality the electrons, the electrons are actually negatively charged particles which means the electrons in the circuit, here's my little electron, actually flows in the other direction. Electrons will be attracted to the positive terminal, therefore they will flow from negative to the positive terminal. So as I said, um, in terms of understanding what's going on, we might well refer to electrons a lot, but in actual fact in all your circuit diagrams the current will be represented as flowing from positive to negative and that is what is called conventional current. 